professor of thoracic and cardiovascular surgery. How do you think the single bullet theory was uh, so widely accepted or accepted by the Warren Commission? How did it get to be so accepted? I think there were two major problems that they were trying to solve. One was the fact that they only had two bullets when all of the evidence pointed to the fact that three bullets had been fired. So then the question was, where, where was the third bullet? Then they had the, another problem in reviewing the frames of the so-called Zapruder fi uh, film. It seemed that in reviewing these frames, there was too little time between the frame that seemed to indicate when the president was wounded and the frame that seemed to indicate when Governor Conley was wounded. So this led to a lot of speculation that uh, perhaps the one bullet had wounded both of them. And uh, the difficulties of this is the fact that uh, Nellie Conley, who was sitting right there and was not wounded, said this isn't the way it's happened. The president, the first bullet hit the president and I saw him putting his hands up to his neck and at that time, my husband was not wounded. And then, as she described it, he said he reared up like a wounded animal and turned and grasped the right side of the uh, limousine. And this was a two or three seconds after the president had been hit.